Hey there guys, it's your Chef Chris, and today we are making an almond crusted Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese ball. So delicious, so perfect for any kind of dinner party. Pretty much perfect for any kind of day. I don't know who doesn't love a good cheese ball. But I'm gonna show you guys my basic cheese ball recipe, but these are so versatile, go nuts. You guys can uh, put in from shrimp to sausage to bacon, any kind of vegetables from jalapenos to bell peppers. I've even seen fruit from pineapple to cherries. Uh, they go a little crazy, but I'm gonna show you guys my basic one. And um, we're gonna get started. We got two packages of Philadelphia cream cheese that have been put out to soften. We got one cup of sharp cheddar cheese, one cup of Monterey Jack, and to that we're gonna add some beautiful sliced chives that we have. Some gorgeous red onions, gonna give it a nice crunch. A nice dash of Worcestershire sauce. And my secret ingredient in this cheese ball is a ranch seasoning packet. It is delicious. Uh, don't add too much. We're only going to add about a third to a half. It's very overpowering if you add the whole thing. So make sure you add just a little bit. Give it a nice stir. Taste it. Adjust. Of course, we're going to season everything with some fresh cracked black pepper. And we're going to throw in some salt, but we're going to go light on these salts. If you use the seasoning ranch, uh, the ranch packet, uh, you're going to notice it's pretty seasoned. So we're going to go light with that. Of course, we're going to season everything with some fresh cayenne, cayenne pepper. Uh, I do say fresh because I made some earlier. And uh, we're going to give it a nice stir. This is where having the soft cream cheese really helps. Mine wasn't too soft. I wish it was, but uh, just make sure you get everything nicely incorporated. And we are set. It's time to form it into a ball. we got some plastic wrap. It's going to basically roll it up. doesn't have to be perfect because the end result will be perfect. Don't worry. Just give it a nice roll. Throw that in the fridge for about an hour. Let it firm up. And uh, when that hour is done, it's time to form it into a cheese ball. Now, I am using slivered almonds here. But, of course, it goes without saying. Use any kind of nuts you would like from almonds to pecans to walnuts to cashews. And uh, if you want to go a little crazy, go nuts. Throw some nuts inside the cheese ball. Um, like I said, these are so versatile, so delicious. You can put it back in the fridge for a dinner party later or enjoy it right now. So creamy. I love these. Had them as a kid and I still love them now. But that is my cheese ball recipe, guys. If there's any recipes you guys would like to learn how to make, let me know. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy.